ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out here. This is Phil 20. I'm in the garage again. I promised you guys I was going to submerge a uh, computer in oil. I've got three gallons. Today I went to Finco, picked some up. Uh, I've got my machine over here. Now remember, I can, you know, add or subtract from these lines. I can make custom coolers. I can make pretty much anything. I got all the stuff here to do it too. I mean, I can make it as big or small as I want for the, the, you know, the those big heat sinks. It's, it's a evaporator coil, but it's basically a humongous radiator or in the computer standard heat sink so if you take a quick look at that that's the size of that that's an evaporator coil of an air conditioner that i took apart and moved over here and piped up the refrigerant lines welded them up charged them back up so biggest problem is i don't have enough oil to you know put the cooler right here i got the computer running you can see the fans running uh We've got a game running. It's at around 40 frames a second. It do, it doesn't play very well on this computer. The CPU sucks. Uh, I got my gauges here. This is the stuff I'm using. It's refrigerant oil number four. This is you want number three for this type of project, I would assume. This is all they had. I ordered 10 gallons of three. It's on the way. Okay, our pressure is real low it's because it doesn't have a load. And here's our first gallon. Right all over the motherboard. It's a yellow color, that's for sure. It's not clear like uh, baby oil. So. Definitely not super clear, but since we already got started, let's keep going. Let's take a look at our frames per second. They're around 47 now, it's a little bit higher than it was. Right now the whole seat computer is completely submerged. So the graphing card's about halfway submerged. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you can see right here. I'll go ahead and show you. This thing's turning into a ball of ice all the way to the compressor. You see those white lines? Well, they're copper, but they're white because they're frozen up. I've got the coil submerged almost all the way, more than halfway. And you can see that uh, it's frosting up right here, even though it's really submerged pretty deep. And then you got all this mess right here. You know, I've got these aquariums right here. I got them for uh, 30 bucks today. It'd be a lot easier to custom fit any kind of a cooler I want inside of these things because I can make my own coolers with copper and just have huge copper heat sinks for moving heat. And I can have them at the top, nice and out of the way, fill this thing full of oil. But I want to show you. Um, 
I was able to overclock this thing, this graphics card beyond where it has ever been before. When I say beyond it, I mean I put it all the way to the max and it's running right now. Activity is at 49%. We're going to try to push it further. I don't think this graphics card can go further, but we're going to go the highest resolution that we can on this is 1080p. go over here to the high settings on this game and let's just move this out of the way click resume oh let's go back and move this right here resume All right, so we're still stuck at the activities at 49% on the GPU. The temperature is 36 degrees. So this CPU is incredibly slow, and I, I'm glad I you know I'm glad I you know I was gonna give this away to somebody. I'm glad I did, and I feel pretty disappointed. Uh, I'm hoping that this thing will just you know hash grab you know gpus well if it don't then i'll just pull out another computer that's in an i5 and just you know hammer it. it the gpu is about half power uh i mean it's at full power full speed i mean i turned the voltage all the way up i'm turning it up to the highest uh, clock speed on this uh, 7850 which is the 1050 megahertz and it's it you know it's it's working it's running 40 50 frames a second now it's better than it was but it's not great um, let's, let's so I'm um, Oh, that's not on 1080p. Let's go over here to 1080p. Right there. Confirm. Right. I'm going to bring this down. Let's see. It's stuck at 49% for sure. The CPU is pretty much, you know, the limit. This is a DDR2 AM2 CPU. I mean, it's really old CPU. So. Too bad I ain't got two screens down here. Made it a lot easier, but you know, this graphics card. Uh, it, the graphics card is you know stuck because it just can't. You can't go any further. The, the CPU is not capable of moving it further. So we've got it incredibly limited. The uh, temperature is 33 degrees Celsius on the GPU. Uh, it's been running for 30, 40 minutes, you know, running hard as it can. The fan's at 100%. Uh, 
the GPU frequency is 1050 megahertz that's the highest it'll go I mean you, you're not gonna get any higher than that on this graphics card because the software just won't let you so I would have to like reflash this card to try to get the frequency any higher uh, it, it, it's you know working without shutting down I'm not saying it won't shut down once it gets to 100% activity but we'll test that out when I start hashing out some cryptocurrency so here's the conglomerated mess that's temporary I mean you know this was just a test to see if this unit will remove the heat and I think we've beyond proven that this coil is just freezing up and you know once you put that completely under the fluid it will always be removing heat always it's just going to be always removing heat and it's going to remove so much heat it's going to be crazy uh, so you know you don't even have to put a fan on it or nothing if you didn't want to but once uh, I get enough oil I'll submerge the whole thing including the uh, power supply I'll flip the power supply over then it'll draw um, heat right through the power supply and all that and blow it back out so basically you're looking at you know this new project uh, it's it's working the temperature of the oil right between the motherboard and CPU is 80 you know 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit so uh, convert that to Celsius if you like 80 degrees Fahrenheit in between the CPU and the GPU uh, the GPU is sucking in the cold from that side once I get more fluid in it it'll probably work even better uh, I'm excited so thank you for watching again this is a strange and unusual project this is just you know I love doing really weird stuff sometimes I just want to get out and enjoy myself and do something that uh, nobody else has done that I could find uh, this is just the beginning this is a prototype really really simple I'm gonna set it up to be a lot nicer when I do the uh, when I do build these aquariums I'll build one first and I'll put a computer here a computer right here you know power supplies on the other side you know right there is just you know to get the power to it unless you know I need the power supply closer to the GPUs um, <clears throat> I gotta start out with just one computer I went and picked these up off of Craigslist for uh, 30 bucks for both of them and I, mean, I ain't got no use for none of the water or the rocks or nothing so it's gonna be a really really cool project I'm really excited and then I'll be able to put them on both sides on the inside and I'll put my whole coil all the way across the middle <clears throat> and then I'll just, you know the coil will be you know tall as I want it I can make it as tall as I want it and it, it'll work amazing it's gonna be great it's gonna be you know this long it's gonna be this tall coil filled all the way up uh, you know with <clears throat> motherboards and GPUs inside of it graphics cards will be covering the bottom all the way across if I can afford it assuming that uh, it doesn't crash it probably will but I can mine on solar power and it doesn't cost me a thing so if it does crash I'm still able to mine coin and not be concerned about it if I never get anything out of it so it's gonna be great and that's pretty much the deal I've got two of them that I can duplicate and you know it's gonna be great thanks for watching this has been a long long video and I'm sorry but you see what we've got going on I'm gonna go ahead and shut everything off and turn our computer off here because uh, I'm pretty tired and I don't want to mess with it at the moment until I get more oil to submerge the rest of the stuff so I mean it it's working as we speak it's working
Thanks again, YouTube. See you next time.